The people, the program's made up of people. You know what I mean? The, the Tiger Hawk is, is made up of the guys, you know, leading the ship. Um, and you see how many older guys have stuck around. You see um, what, what our transport portal looks like at the end compared to other teams. Um, I, I just feel like that comes from leadership. And, you know, Coach Wallace stepping into the, the assistant head coach role. Um, excited for him, obviously, this year. Um, but down the road, I'm really excited what, what he'll be able to do. I told my dad the other day, and I don't know if this is land, land well, but I said wherever Wallace is at, you know, that's where, that's where my son will be playing. So hopefully he's still here and my son can, you know, wear 34 or something like that. Jay, with the amount of veterans that decided to return, was it a domino effect? Was it everybody kind of in it together making the same decision? What did that look like? Yeah, I, um, you know, I, I did my best recruiting I, I possibly did. Um, Chima from Texas had him on his official visit. He committed. Uh, kid from Texas, guys. So obviously, I, I know what I'm doing. Um, but I, I said we we all had dinner and stuff. Uh, we we just talked about the pros and cons, and obviously, people had people had different uh, you know pros and cons. Cooper was a you know first round talent, so his his uh, conversation was a little bit harder. Um, but yeah, it's you know we we were excited to, to play with each other. Um, obviously, we believe in this program. We believe in this team. Um, we we knew we could all get better. Um, and I, I I just think is the the testament to Iowa City. The memories we've had here, the relationships we, relationships we had uh, were so strong uh, and strong enough for all of us to come back, which is great. There's obviously positives to all of that experience returning. How good can this team? With so few questions. Yeah, um, it's, it's up to us. And we, we understand that we're an older group, but that doesn't really mean much. It's really, we've still got to go out there every Saturday and win the games. Still got to make those plays. Still have to be disciplined. Uh, and we got to make sure we're not getting too comfortable. Obviously, when you're, when you're an older guy, you kind of think you can get away with some stuff, um, can let some loose ends slip. But I just feel like our program teaches detail. Um, and. You know, Coach Parker's obviously not going to let us slack. So uh, I feel like the sky's the limit. Excited to get out there. Um, excited to be part, be a part of another good uh, Iowa defense. What do you think the next chances of getting that all-time NCAA tackling record are? Very, very high. I don't, I don't want to jinx him, so I'm going to just leave it there. But hardworking guy. Um, and if I got anything to do with it, I'm going to make sure it gets it done too. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Jay. How you doing, man? In terms of uh, overall experience and everything, there's still, I guess, some tweaks to be made. What are you guys trying to tweak, even though it feels like you guys are all clicking already, but what are some things you guys are still hashing out? I just say uh, every every guy playing better individually. Um, you know, obviously, I, I felt like I could have had a better year. Uh, some plays, two or three plays each game um, that I could tighten up on. And if we got guys like that saying they can get better, then I feel like we're going to be okay. If Sebastian Castro is being highly critical of himself and thinks he can play even better than what he already did, then that that's a great. Um, and you know, we're we're not we're not satisfied with, uh, with how we played last year, and that's a cool part. We're we're all excited to to um, to improve this year and you know keep pushing the needle forward. What's been the overall message from Parker to this team for all the young guys and all the vets that's coming back that partially might not have been totally expected? Yeah, um, definitely play at a championship level, um, but also bringing the, the young guys up with us. You know, being a, being an older guy in the room, it'd be selfish to, to leave here with all the tips in my in my bag. So making sure I, I can communicate as much as possible, uh, help the freshmen, help Jaden Harold, Jaden Montgomery, Carson Shire, Jackson Rexroth, all those guys who, who are due for – uh, a big year. Um, I, I'm a do so. I I see a lot of myself in those guys when it when it comes to waiting patiently, uh, and you know I'm a, I'm gonna do the best I can to, to help those guys and you know make make next year and the transition as smooth as possible for them. Um, I spent a lot of time you know working on all the you know physical aspects of it, um, but this year you know I really want to like any year just kind of um, get together with my boys a lot more. Um, like I, like I said, um, you know, when you build those bonds off the field, um, you know, you can start to trust each other when you get on the field. 
Um, so I think, you know, maximizing that time out of the building, um, you know, going bowling, you know, paintballing, uh, stuff like that um, is really going to help us um, build that trust and build the bonds. And you got a great uh, crew coming back, uh, not only in the, uh, the linebacking area, but defense as a whole. So uh, you guys uh, will have an, a lot of leadership out there. Talk about the defense this year. Um, defense is going to be great. Um, not to compare to last year or anything, um, but we have a lot of veteran guys um, who've been here um, for a lot of years. Um, myself and Jay in the linebacker room. Um, you got, you know, D-line, D Craig and uh, YA. Um, Quinn in the in the, D, in the DB room, you know, there's a lot of depth um, in all of our positions. I think, um, you know, I'm really excited just to see, you know, what uh, those guys who maybe didn't get those starting positions last year but got playing time, see what they can really do um, out in the field. You know, when when game time comes. Great. Have a great season. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a couple more for me, unfortunately, but. What I would say is, uh, in terms of you guys as a defensive unit, is there maybe a sense of trying to take advantage of the amount of experience you guys have? I'm sorry, repeat that. Uh, is, is there maybe a sense of urgency or something that you guys are really trying to capitalize on having all this experience? Um, I, I would say that, you know, not necessarily any urgency um, for anything. I, I would just say that, you know, every year, um, you know, we have a job to do. Um, having the depth um, in all our positions and having um, some older guys with uh, a lot of experience is, is, is going to help us do that job. Um, but as of right now, you know, we're just trying to, you know, get better in fall camp, um, working hard in the drills, spend a lot of time outside of the, outside of the building, outside of football with each other. Um, just try to try to build up what we have right now. So, what is something for you personally that you're trying to sharpen up? I know you know diamond can only get so hard, but how much can uh, you even grow even further ahead in your this year? Yeah, I would say that um, right now for me, um, I just want to capitalize on you know spending as much time with my teammates as I can. Um, as far as like on the field stuff, you know. There's, there's always things that to, to get better at. Um, but for me, you know, I really want to spend as much time with uh, my teammates um, and build, build the bonds that um, will ultimately, you know, propel us to a lot of success. Last time, just really thank everyone for special this team. Cares about everyone, invested in everyone, uh, works with everyone. And it's just, uh, this is unbelievable. So I really thank Coach Ferentz. And I think that's the program that he's built, uh, the person he is, and everything that Coach Ferentz stands for is just somebody you want to play for, and you're just thankful to have that mentor in your life. You know, it's clear that this defense has a lot of confidence for good reason. You know, especially now in a expanded Big Ten with some really good offenses coming in. You know, for you, how does that motivate you guys in practice? Some of the things that you want to really fine tune before we uh, get Week One kicked off here. Yeah, I mean, every single, I think every single day you just want to keep on fine tuning and, and working on everything. I don't think it's even fine tuning; it's just working. You know, what I mean, I think every single day that it's not like we've ever arrived, we've ever really done anything. I think that's what the guys think on the team. Like we we've never really done anything, so it's kind of like, okay, now we have to get better. I mean, we're we're really we're nothing. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like keep improving, keep getting better, and uh, just let everything else take care of itself. What do you think will it take for uh, you guys to sit back after the season's done and feel like we did something? Uh, that we were fully invested and we gave it our all. I think that that really, that really comes down to it. As long as we can sit back and genuinely say that we attacked every practice, fully invested, watched the tape, and we gave it everything we had, I think we'll be all good. And uh, we can look back and regardless of what the season entailed, uh, we can be okay with it. What's, uh, what's your approach? Yeah, I really haven't thought about like the season as a whole. More just like every single day, just trying to get better. Just like footwork, hands, all that stuff. Just like trying to get better, just so I can just when I get to the games and stuff like that, watching tape and all that stuff, uh, everything can improve. Well, to, to kind of piggyback off of that, you know, it's been a great for your, uh, career here for you in Iowa. And coming into this year, you're getting a lot of preseason accolades. And you know, for you, how do you really channel that and really just stay focused on the field and just make sure that's all about football? Yeah, I mean, I kind of just don't pay attention to it, really. Uh, I'm thankful, really. I am. Uh, I think it's it's a super cool honor, you know what I mean? Just like anything that you get recognized for. Um, but 
the one thing about those preseason stuff is it's all stuff that you did last year. It's all stuff that you did the year before. It's nothing that you've done this year. So you have to kind of just remind yourself that every single day that you haven't done anything this year. There's been plenty of people who have been on preseason lists that weren't on the end of season list. So I think that that just is a friendly reminder that it's just like got to keep grinding, got to keep uh, working, and got to keep the motivation and focus on your team. And really you're nothing without your teammates. So like everything that I get is a tribute to these guys. So it's my defensive line, they keep me safe. Uh, people in the back end, they protect me. So it's really just like, it's the easiest job in the world. It's the most fun job in the world. It's a DB group, a lot of young people's coming up, obviously. John Nestor's name's been coming around. He's been talking about how he's been enjoying the cash position, and that's obviously something that you're practically a pro at by now. What's kind of some of the things that you've been talking to him about? Just learn. Just learn as much as you can, as fast as you can. And the more, like, the faster you can do it, the more, I guess, because he really wants to be in the field, like any young guy wants to be in the field. So like the faster you can learn is like the, and not make the same mistakes is just uh, the best thing he can do for himself to put, put himself in the best position to, to be where he wants to be. So in terms of being where people want to be, where, where do you assess the DB room is right now? I would say like we have a lot of experience really. Like even the young guys, like they, they've had some experience and uh, I'm, I'm confident if they come in, like yeah, they're going to be nervous or whatever, whatever it is. But like they know what to do, and uh, and you can see that when you're when you're watching the film. So uh, I mean, yeah. Do you specifically some things that uh, you want to bring to the table this year that you might have learned last year or previous years? Some things you might have worked on in the off season? Uh, I mean, not really. Nothing like okay. particular. It's just make more plays, do my job first and foremost. <laughs> but uh, yeah, make more plays. Hopefully they try me. I know, I know they're going to try me, but I hope they do. Some people might. Some people might shy away, but uh, it all depends on their offense. And uh, But no, yeah, I want to I wanna get, my, get my, my chances and my opportunities. First of all, um, how's your off-season preparation been going? Uh, it's been, you want me to hold this? Oh, I got oh, it. Oh, you got it. I've uh, been going pretty good. You know, practice has been going well. We've been working uh, day in, day out. Um, been been very well. Uh, very fun. Yes, sir. I know. Full pads for the first time in what probably feels like forever. How's yeah. that been feeling so far? Uh, it's been feeling great. You know, um, being back in pads is always a great thing. You know, having some competition with the guys on the offense side of the ball. Um, having, you know, being physical with them. It's, it's always a good feeling. Always get back to it. So, yes, sir. It's pretty fun. Deep D back room, and I think the recent uh, depth chart listed you starting this year. I don't know what the plan is for you, or what how you're going to be planning to be used for this upcoming season. Yeah, um, you know, no no depth chart uh, is set yet, so um, you know we have uh, we have competition still going on every single day. Um, so you know whatever that that role may be coming this fall, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna love doing it. Whatever's best for the team, best for our chances of winning, I'm gonna love doing it. So yes, sir. All right, so. What have you learned over the past year with uh, obviously Cooper leading the way and him starting to make his own uh, path in the pros? What's kind of some of the things you've learned over the past few years with a lot of veterans? Um, you know, big thing with um, being a veteran is comes a lot of uh, a lot of experience, and experience kind of builds patience. So you know, being a patient DB is something that's very hard to find and very hard to you know learn and you know try to acquire part of your game. But um, being a patient. Patient DB has probably been the biggest thing, and you know, just you know, things to look for, and in, in, in the offense pre-snap, um, which you don't really look for when you come out of, straight out of high school, is you know, it's a big thing, and that's what I've learned the most, most definitely. So personally, what are you been doing? You've mentioned patience. Are there any other attributes that you've been working on this offseason to improve your qualities? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, all around, honestly, but biggest thing is probably patience. Patience. Um, my patience and my ball skills, honestly. You know, uh, I have pretty good ball skills, but you know, the very you get very limited chance with the ball inside, ball in your hands. So the moment that you do get it, you know, you want to make it count. So you know, never you can never catch too many. You know, uh, on practice in the jugs or just you know throwing around with a teammate. You know, you can never do too much of that. So yeah, that those two are definitely the biggest things for me. You've been listed as a outside DB, but also cash. What's kind of the place that you've found yourself being more comfortable? So far? Um, both spots have really been uh, comfortable for me as I as I've been going on throughout the the summer and the spring. But um, you know, cash is definitely a position that you got you got to be versatile in. Um, coming off the edge, dropping back in coverage, man to man. You know, um, those are definitely the biggest things part of that position. So I feel like out of high school, I was kind of you know I played safety and corner, so I kind of could relate to 
playing a cash at the same um, at some sort of degree. So um, you know they're both great positions. Um, I really I'm really starting to like cash a lot though. So I'm guessing you've probably been given a Sebastian near full asking for tips. What kind of been some of the things you guys have been talking about learning cash? Um, one thing with Castro is he's always around the ball. You know, you always see him around the ball, always making plays. So different things inside of the play. Um, you know, whether it get off a block or certain certain ways to attack the run or kind of bait the quarterback into you know dropping back into coverage and you know getting the ball in your hands have kind of been the biggest things for him. Uh, me and him, so uh, he's like just breaking things down for me that he learned, you know, from guys like, you know, Dane Belton and Monty Hooker, you know, the previous caches in our program. So you know, just passing down what he's learned from them. So that's been great. John, uh, when that new depth chart came out, everybody was like, "Oh, Iowa's next corner." Um, I'm assuming you saw all that. Yeah. I guess. What do you think about that? Obviously, there's the comparisons to Riley Moss for all sure. the time from the guys yeah. too. Well, yeah. What do you think about that? Um, you know. Uh, there's really no depth chart in place as of right now. You know, we have competition every single day. So, you know, the corners in our room right now, um, we're competing every single day. So the depth chart really didn't mean much to me. Uh, I knew the Riley Moss thing was coming out at some point today. Uh, but, yeah, no, Riley, obviously, you know, he's a great player. You know, he's a Tatum Woodson Award winner, a unanimous All-American. Um, you know, he uh, playing for the Dumbo Broncos, Broncos now. So, you know, he's such a respected name in our DB room and someone that all the guys look up to. Um, but, you know, at the same time, you know, me being compared to Riley is a daily thing, often thing from the guys in our program and obviously, you know, some of the outside people. But, uh, you know, I'm just trying to be the person I am. I am going to be um, trying to be the best John Nestle that I can be every single day. So, yes, sir. What do you feel like that is? Can you describe, like, the best again? What you can do? Yeah, for sure. You know, um, I think I bring a lot of versatility to my game. Um, you know, I, I, I play the cash. Like, I come, like coming off the edge and blitzing, you know, dropping back in coverage, you know, getting inside the run fits. But also, I like being man-to-man -man with a – you know, outside in the corner position. So, you know, um, what I bring in my game is a lot of intensity, a lot of passion. You know, I love the game of football. I'm around it all the time. My dad was a coach, still is a coach for the West Branch Bears, 15, down, 15 minutes on the road. So tap in with West Branch, man. They're coming. They're coming. But, uh, yeah, man, um, you know, I, I, I think I just, I'm just a football junkie. You know, I love, I love everything about football. And, you know, when I, when I get the opportunity, I play fast, I play hard. So, yeah.